spoke about ab initio rc file so many times uh, interviewer asks regarding the ab initio rc file you know sometimes he is interested in the configuration settings right so if any problem occurs then if candidate has to have that exposure to go and modify the background or the configuration file of the system and then you know sometimes it happens so how the ab initio rc file can control the environment right so there are different uh, ab initio rc file it's not a one ab initio rc file if we talk about whole uh, ab initio computing system ecosystem host uh, installation and all so there are there are three levels of ab initio rc file first of all it is in global ab initio rc files okay so that is uh, the path would be like this you know global ab initio rc file it is called the global etc ab initio ab initio rc so what is the significance of this file is it is an optional ab initio rc file so you may or may not be available this and it is a global in nature in the sense of for a particular host let's say for a particular machines there are multiple installation of the coprenus system right i have an installation of 4.0 or 4.1 4.2 4.3 so there are four kind of installation i have in my host we know that the multiple installation can coexist in one host right so in those kind of environments so this ab initio rc file may be available available not necessarily it is an optional basically but if it isn't there then what is the meaning of this ab initio rc file for, for for that you know all the installation is it is common for all the installation all the copernu system version installation so it could be accessible by all the installation all the environments all the users within that host right so this is one thing and then it is in global in nature and all the decree declaration will be impacting all the users who are using that host or those different installation right so they are going to impact every other user okay and the variable of this cannot be overridden so the thing is if you declare something over there in global ab initio rc file you cannot override this value you have to be very very careful careful about it sometimes therefore we mostly don't use this file but if we have to use this file then this implies that you cannot override first of all and you, the impact would be for every other user can include a statement in this configuration file so there are we include those other configuration files in one configuration file right so this ab initio rc file can include other configuration file as well within the file so the use cases uh, are limited basically so therefore right so if you want to so the parameters like a, a b underscore character set right we want to fix the character set, set used by the all the users within the host then we can use the this parameter declaration in the global ab initio rc file and then people can utilize it you know you cannot override it you don't have to override it right so therefore you try to declare this variable for a specific character set okay rather than the default one <clears throat> now and uh, so the path right i said this is a linux based path for windows there would be different so like you know uh, path actually so i took the example of linux path basically also ab output file you mask so if you want to uh, if you want to uh, you know Uh, limit the permissions of the files created by your graphs right for any user or any installation or every, anywhere so these are the default you mask if you want to set then you can declare it right okay so when the graph runs right so if you create the graph and you if you try to uh, if you try to override this uh, mask right let's say there is a restriction so you cannot you can make more restrictive than this but you cannot make less restrictive than this 
you must right right this is the baseline basically and you can in the graph also we can set the you must right when we create the file so in that so the the parameter it, it cannot be overridden in the sense of you can make it less restrictive but it you can make it more restrictive right while creating graphs and all who can uh, try to modify or change it super user admin people can do that basically so this is one of the uh, abinitio rc files more less less talked about abinitio rc file in the sense of right so but we need to know it so the second type of abinitio rc file is like ab home config and abinitio rc so this is the installation specific abinitio rc file used for specific server you know so if i within a server if i have a certain installation let's 4.0 so for that installation this uh, abinitio rc file path is there so for main configuration file or individual cooperative system installation generated when installation done you know whenever the installation is done then only it gets generated affected all user who use this is not a optional it's a mandatory affects all user who use that installation under the host so it is getting used by all the users for particular installation let's say i'm 4.0 there are 10 people who are using that installation under that particular host so for those all those 10 users can be impacted by this abinitio rc file <coughs> so what could be the use case of this abinitio rc file is setting up directory for temporary files so the ab working directory ab data directory these kind of you know direct data directory as can use i can uh, you know assign here okay and setting up cross computer access in the sense of uh, i was talking about heterogeneous environments right so from one node to another the, if you want to allow that uh, connectivity between two uh, uh, two server wherein a uh, cooperating system are installed so the heterogeneous data connectivity can be done using this abinitio rc file so that everybody else can use under that installation the, the 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 connectivity part right and the setting of the character set also can be done right ab character set can also be done over here as well therein there is an <coughs> third type of abinitio rc file is for user specific so that is called dot abinitio rc file you know ab home same kind of uh, ab home and then directly abinitio rc files right so this is a specific for to a sandbox or a generic sandbox user so let's say for uh, uh, for a particular uh, user for myself so there will be a you know sandbox and then there will be an abinitio rc files and then i can manipulate my data connectivity you know parameters and all those things which is going to be used by myself or by a particular user not for everybody else or if it is a generic user you know application uh, user application id then also there will be a one abinitio rc file so a value will be set in user uh, abinitio rc file text um, so so these are the two important things basically so value you set in user abinitio files files taking precedence over the uh, this this uh, uh, server installation space space uh, abinitio rc file so if you declare something over here you can override basically so this is going to be taking the precedence but if a value set in the abinitio rc file does not take precedence over the global abinitio rc file so like we already talked about right it impacts and there you cannot override the this way this abinitio rc file global abinitio rc file so therefore this uh, concept is a value set in the abin user abinitio rc file does not take precedence over the global abinitio rc file so this is all about abinitio rc file things right so we need to know what we have different here with respect to abinitio rc file with respect to configuration so that it can um, uh, it can uh, you know help to uh, try to um, you know create your environment right or maybe if th there isn't some issues and all, so you can go and check what are the different values for a particular abinitio rc file if there is a connectivity issue and so on right we can correct it so th with that thank you so much uh, please subscribe my channel and we are going to see uh, other videos thank you so much